Y'all doing too much. This hypothetical question about this bear versus man in the forest is about to get a lot of y'all feelings hurt. Some of y'all women, you're doing too much. You are the bear in the forest. You need to be scared of yourself. Would you rather be stuck in the woods with a bear or a random man? This was a question asked randomly to women on the streets and almost all women. In fact, the only one that didn't say bear was was like, it depends on the man. <laughs> but then almost everybody said, almost every woman said a bear. They rather feel safe with a bear. In fact, they rather get on alive with a bear than a man. But men got angry with the old talk and everything. And that's not what we're talking about today. We're not even talking about how men are not taking this because we've talked about it already. Also, I saw a video of a lady saying, women, are, why, are we, why are we saying that we cannot be stuck in the forest with a bear or with a man? Like, sometimes, <laughs> let me run the clip for you all to watch to the end. We'll come back and talk about it. Then you understand what I'm trying to say. Let's watch the video together and I'll be back. Y'all doing too much. This hypothetical question about this bear versus man in the forest is about to get a lot of y'all feelings hurt. Some of y'all women, you're doing too much. You are the bear in the forest. You need to be scared of yourself. At the end of the day, a lot of y'all are running around acting like you so scared of men, acting as if you fear for your life on a day-to-day -day basis. Girl, men don't even pay you no mind on a day-to-day -day basis. You go to the mall, they ignore you. You go to the store, they ignore you. You go to the club and the lounges with your homegirls and they talk to everybody but you. Men ain't worried about you. You could be in the forest with a bear and a man and you got a better chance of the bear wanting to smash. It's almost comical listening to a group of women who invite strangers from date naps to their house to smash on the first day are scared of men. I can't tell. I can't tell the way y'all be getting pregnant by strangers. Men who last names you don't even know. Men who mama you don't meet until the baby shower. I can't tell you scared of these men. Not the way you be out here giving out your address so freely and letting them come over there and Netflix and chill. The way you be going over their house when you don't even know them. Jeffrey Dahmer would have a field day with this generation and somehow y'all scared of men. You scared to be in a forest with a man? Be for real. Y'all are, are comical. Nobody even takes you serious at this point because you're a joke. Every time you get on this internet and open up your mouth, it's a contradiction and you're a joke. This same lady, she has made a video and saying, Oh, you all think I'm a pick me? Do you think I'm a pick me? I'm not a pick me. <laughs> the video she did is giving pick me. I, I mean, when I saw the video, I was like, uh? So they actually, uh? I didn't expect it to be honest. I went to the comment section and of course, everybody was like, You're not, you're never gonna be picked. You're not going to be picked, even though you come out and you will never be picked. I don't know if she has been picked or not. I'm not aware. I didn't really go and check, but I didn't expect her to be a picking because I've, I have, I've, I think I've done some of our videos before. But hearing her say something like this, I, I don't understand where that is coming from. Anyways, I have reactions to share with you. But then let me know your thoughts. Are you in agreement with her or not? Let me know down in the comment section. Do you think what she's saying makes sense to you? It can make sense to you if that is your opinion. But to me, I feel like it doesn't make sense. To me, in my op opinion. But then in this channel, you're entitled to your opinion respectfully in the comment section. But then let us go ahead and watch what other people have to say concerning what she said in that video. And I'll be back to share my thoughts at the end of the video. Her. Some of y'all women, you're doing too much. You are the bear in the forest. You um. Yeah, I don't think they're going to pick you either. And we're not about to act like men don't stick their thing in anything that move. We know. We know about to act like that. Come on now. Come on now. If it got what they want in the middle, they gonna try to play with it like a fiddle. I promise you. I promise you. I promise you. I personally would, would choose a bear too. I would choose wildlife over my counterpart. I definitely would. If I stood strong and stood up real big and say, hey, motherfucking bear, I'm bigger than you to wildlife, right? There's a good chance that wildlife would be like, okay, wait, hold on. <laughs> that motherfucker is a little big. <laughs> Let me go ahead and turn around and skedaddle. But if I do that to my counterpart, my counterpart is going to try to show me that they are way bigger than what I just presented myself. Right? For bears, I just got to make big ass sounds. Big ass sounds that they do not like. Right? And then I learn from that man that be like, the more you know. A bear, they don't see humans as food. 
So if a bear is trying to attack you, there's one or two things. Either it's a woman, a woman bear, a, a female bear, and she's protecting her babies because you didn't came too close. Only thing you got to do is walk away. If it's a male bear, it's because that motherfucker is hungry. Hell, throw his ass a sandwich. I, I mean, I just don't know. We see every day how men are. You say no to a, to a man, it, it's over with. It's over with for you. You scream and say no to a bear, they might hear that little screech in a woman's voice and be like, ugh, you know what? Let me not try to go over there that. I don't know. I don't know. But to think that somebody can't be harassed because they're not attractive, that's a stretch. Like, I know your arms hurt, girl. The store, they ignore you. You go to the club and the lounges with your homegirls and they talk to everybody but you. Okay, so let's have this conversation because it is apparent that some women, like this creator, and perhaps a fair amount of men who are chiming in on this are looking at this as if women are just afraid of being raped. And we are, right? Because uh, men have shown they have no issue doing that, right? But there is far more to fear from men in general than rape. So much more. And why this is such a difficult concept to grasp is beyond me. Men commit violence in general. No, not all men, but enough of y'all are violent, not just to women, but to each other. We aren't starting wars. We aren't committing most of the assaults. We aren't committing most of the robberies. We aren't committing most of the grapes. We are not committing most of the theft. That's all men. On top of that, serial killers, murderers, population of prisons. Are you getting the point here? It's not just about a woman fearing being raped by some random stranger in the woods that she runs into that she would not have to worry about with a bear. That's just going back to that point too. It is about the overall arching truth that men are dangerous and violent and unpredictable because they may look unassuming and then they're Ted Bundy and then you are unalived. So we're gonna take our chances with the bear and may the odds be ever in our favor. First is about to get a lot of y'all feelings hurt. Some of y'all women, you're doing too much. You the only people with hurt feelings regarding this situation is the people that don't agree with the women who answered bear. Women were asked a hypothetical question and they answered and y'all didn't like the answer and now they doing too much, now they wrong, now they lying. That's so weird to me. And it's also a weird narrative to believe that you have to be somewhat attractive for a man to harass you or for a weirdo to be weird towards you. If you believe that you live in a state of delusion. Y'all doing too much. This hypothetical question about this bear versus man in the forest. Y'all have to be bear with me. This is hard for me to get out. And even though I know this is going to help a lot of people, um, especially bring a voice to voiceless women and children who aren't here anymore to speak for themselves, it's still hard for me to get out. So please be patient with me. You know, um, August 2002, I um, had this, well, I thought he was a guy friend or what have you. I was 15. He was about 16, 17. And um, one day he asked me to go to the movies with him. We didn't end up at the movies. We ended up at some unknown house on one of the worst sides of town. And I ended up being uh, grape or S-word assaulted. Um, not by just him, 
but by him and three of his friends. After they S-word assaulted me, they went around town because the city that we live in is so small. It don't matter if you go to the same schoolhouse or not. The uh, Everybody knew each other. So they went around town and made it seem as if I was a whole, I was easy, and they ran a train on me. That was the lie. Twenty two years later, this man comes back. And I didn't tell nobody, y'all, because I didn't feel like I would be believed. Because oftentimes, when this stuff happens to young girls and women, we are blamed. They want us to have two eyes, four eyes, double eyes, psychic eyes, prophetic eyes, whatever kind of eyes you want to call them, to see and be able to prevent these things from happening to us like we can control the actions of other people 22 years later this man uh, dms me on facebook and apologizes for s word assaulting me in my opinion the apology was not genuine because he has daughters now that are the age that i was then and he's apologizing because he's trying to break the cycle of karma that he believes is going to come on him and his family for what he did to me. Now, I don't wish bad or hell or death or nothing on nobody. I don't have a hateful bone in my spirit. And I wouldn't want any young girl to go through what I went through. But not only... um did that traumatize me to the point where I not only do I, because the, the boys who did this to me, and I'm going to be brutal honest, they were black boys. I still to this day uh, have, get I get trauma around large groups of black men. I don't like being around large groups of black men. Okay, I know all black men ain't bad, but I don't like being around large groups of black men. This is the same group of men who, since I was a young child, used to tease me because I wore glasses. I was a big girl. And honestly, I thought those flaws, because I think a different way than most people. I thought those flaws that they seen in me would be a repellent. I don't have to deal with these men. You know, I ain't got to, because I would see the girls who got picked in high school. I would see the negative effects of those relationships. I would see how they would get abused and dragged through hallways and stalked and all of this other. And I didn't want to go through that. Um, so I thought that, you know, being a big girl wearing glasses, that's probably a repellent. I ain't got to worry about nobody doing that to me. Baby, they don't give a damn how cute or pretty or ugly or whatever. they. If they have that demon in them, they going to come at you. And I remember crying during my assault. I remember crying and begging just to be let loose and let go. And they didn't care. And they still assaulted me. They still assaulted me. And this man got mad at me 22 years later. Because I didn't want anything to do with him. I don't see you as a friend, sir. I can forgive you because I'm Christian, y'all. I can forgive you, but ain't nowhere in that Bible where the Lord said I got to be friends with you. If God thought that we was going to be friends with everybody, he wouldn't have prepared a way for how, for how we should deal with our enemies. It wouldn't be no such thing as enemies if God thought everybody was going to be our friend. I don't want to be friends with you. You're not a friend to me. I uh, I uh, uh, forgave you after you apologized because he got defensive when I said y'all raped me. He got real defensive, and I have proof of that. You know, and um, he stalked me in the store, y'all. Stalked me in the store. He, like, I ended up seeing him in the store, and I had my daughter with me. Had my daughter with me in the store. And so I went the other way, and it looked like he was leaving out the store and then he doubled back and started walking. Y'all know how you in Walmart and they have those long line of cash registers and things. And it's the two exits. It's the pharmacy uh, home exit. And then it's the uh, the um, shop and the grocery exit. 
he looked like he was leaving out the pharmacy home exit and he doubled back only to cross me and look at me you know to me that was torment that was and to have my daughter with me y'all about to know even though i'm christian you know god ain't never told me to be no doormat I, I was so happy I had my pew pew. That man was going to be sent to hell that day. Really. This is 22 years later. Like, sir, ain't you already done stole enough from me? Ain't you already did enough to me? You that mad that I won't accept your apology and be your friend? Because he had the audacity to ask me when he sent me the message apologizing if it was anything ever good about him that I liked in high school. What? It's because of you, sir, that I don't trust no man, okay? When I go out of town, when I have to travel, whether it's I'm traveling for pleasure or work, I already know the be the safest I am is around other women, and I know that from experience. No matter what they racial background is, you are the safest around other women versus men. And I'm sorry to the good men out there who ain't like this. I've met a lot of good men out there, not just black, uh, but white of all different backgrounds since I was S word assaulted. But because of these dangerous men out here, you have to have your guard up as a woman with all men. I was one of these women who used to think, you know what? I'm not nobody's first pick. I wear glasses. I'm a big girl. I have a gap. They ain't going to bother me. That's the furthest thing from the truth. And y'all have to forgive me. I was not trying to cry on this video, but it's, it, it just, it, I have to relive it to tell y'all my testimony. Y'all, I'm sorry. I didn't expect for me to have that outburst. And then she brought up Jeffrey Dahmer. Jeffrey Dahmer wasn't going after a woman, young lady. That's one. And then two, Jeffrey Dahmer is all the the more reason why other men in the woods with a bear and another man should pick the bear. Hey, beautiful people. I was in today. It's your favorite girl again, Maria David. And I'm back again with another interesting video. You see, this question was asked AI. Someone actually asked AI and posted AI reply. To the question of would you rather be stuck in a forest with a bear or a man or would you rather allow a woman to be stuck in a forest with a bear or a man and AI was like I'll pick a bear <laughs> and now we see a woman coming to the internet saying that there are some women that would uh, invite strangers randomly to their house and they are saying they will pick a bear <sighs> To be honest, this same question was also asked fathers that have a daughter to protect. Because you all know that when men have somebody to protect, that is when they protect. They would not, most of them do not protect somebody that is not their own. So, wives were asking their husband, would you allow your daughter, our daughter, to be stuck randomly with a bear in the forest or a strange man. You know what? You know what happened after after the question was asked. They all went mute because I have most of those videos. I don't know if I'm going to do it, but let me just talk about it. They all they'll just be like, mm. they have to like think about it. I'm like, I think I, I'm going to go bear. I think I'm going to go bear. It, they know. They know. <laughs> they know because, and these are the same men. If you don't ask them this question like that, you're just telling them that, look, women are choosing bear over men. They will come out and say, oh, that is not nice. Da, 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 da. Why would you pick a, an animal over a, over a human being that you can talk to? But now we are talking about it in a way that, okay, your own person, your own child, for a good father, yeah, because, of course, not all men are good parents. For for your own child, be stuck in the forest with a with an animal, a bear, to be specific, or a strange man that sh you don't know, she doesn't know, just appear from nowhere. 
who would you pick? And most of them picked Bear. So now, I personally would not advise women to invite somebody you do not know into your house a strange man or someone you're talking to online and you just want to see on a first date or you're going to a man's house the very first day to the house i personally would not advise you because it's dangerous of course we know <laughs> it's very dangerous in fact people will blame you if anything happened they'll blame you that mm-hmm. didn't you know that like, you're not supposed to go to a man's house okay and i feel like what that what she's trying to say that's one you already know that the decision you're making is wrong you're going to meet a man that you don't know before you're going to his house or you're inviting the man to your house over anything can happen but then this one you this is not the situation you are stuck in the woods you are stuck in the forest anything might make you stop probably your plane crashed <laughs> because i don't know what i'm going to do in the woods anyway but anything can happen i might there might be fire I, i'm just saying probably a plane can crash and i was one that was left alive i was stuck in the woods <laughs> i don't have a choice I, I met myself there and you're telling me to pick if a bear is going to come or a man <sighs> yo i like to know your thoughts about this video down comment section this bear and versus man's conversation is still going on on tiktok as you see on my for you page and we might talk about more of this because a lot of a lot are coming and people are asking that would you people are asking men would you rather be stuck in the forest with a woman or a bear <laughs> and you you all need to know what the men were responding <laughs> anyways let me know your thoughts about this video down in the comment section and thank you all so much for sticking around to this point I hope you enjoyed this one. Don't forget to like and share and subscribe and turn on the post notification bell so you can get notified once I upload another interesting video. And I'll see you all in my next one. Bye.